government will shoulder the cost of repairing schools' infrastructure destroyed by, uh, destroyed by flood waters. Speaking while officially opening Lenana Primary School in Dagoretti South, Nairobi, the head of state said that he will ensure smooth resumption of the second term. This has more than five schools in Baringo County failed to reopen due to the effects of the floods. And in Kisumu, normalcy is gradually returning while the resumption was smooth in Kakamega. Alan Ochanda will be bringing that story later on as we continue with the bulletin. But still on matters education, schools are facing another setback as they reopen for the second term as a fraction of the nearly 60,000 junior secondary intern teachers followed through on their threat demonstrating across the country. Here is Anne Musungu with that report. Initially, a ruling by the Labor Relations Court in Nairobi nullified the internship status for trained, registered, and licensed teachers. <laughs> However, last week, the same court gave a reprieve to the Teacher Service Commission to maintain the status of the employment until the commission either gets temporary orders from the court of appeal or reaches a compromise. <laughs> The junior secondary teachers in their demands want the Teachers Service Commission to employ them under the permanent and pensionable status. What we are asking the TSC is that we need a very simple, very simple and very basic return to work formula, which is just confirm these interns. Uh, let them report to those schools uh, with their permanent and pensionable letters. Ask Bwanamacho where the laboratory that he has talked about. Yes, yes, yes. Where are the classes that he has talked about? Yes. One teacher in the entire school. Yes. And he's not even paid well. How can you expect a teacher to teach 14 subjects alone? Yes. Yes. We are telling Machogu and Nazi Masharia, employ these teachers on permanent and pensionable terms and make sure that you add more teachers. The teachers are claiming compensation from TSC for allegedly paying them below the stipulated minimum wage during the internship period. They're seeking a payout of 480000 as redress for the underpayment grievances. Well, we came for a job. We do not come for voluntary program that could attract allowances. Yes. And even the allowance of 17,000 is not enough for a teacher who trained. We are just like any other child in any home who went to any university to obtain a training and get a, a job to do. A job that is going to earn a living. 17,000 is not earning as a living. And that's why you see us look like we are not in the job profession. Teachers have also complained about difficult working conditions and poor employment terms offered by TAC during the past one and a half years. But we, senior, tuko nyumbani, tumeajiriwa kwa intern, kwa sababu ya nini, hatuna connection. Also arguing that the TAC role of recruiting teachers has been interfered with politically. Now during the 